Well, Florida is one of the 50 states, and it's one of the most cosmetically beautiful states. It's a peninsula. It's surrounded by the ocean. It has all year round warm weather. But the beautiful paradise of Florida could also be a pain. Um, there is a price to pay for living in paradise. And the price is the risk of hurricanes, which may only come once every couple years, once a decade. And, you know, you may live your whole lifetime and they never affect the place you live in Florida because Florida is a big state by landmass. But there's a price to live in a beautiful, beautiful state like Florida. Just as an example, there's a price to pay if you date a beautiful person. If you're going to date a 10, if you're going to date a beautiful woman or a beautiful man, there's a price to pay. You got to come with your A game. You can't just, you know, you're not going to just get a great looking, successful, hardworking person and not give your best effort. You know, anyone can date an ugly psychopath. I mean, you know, they're a dime a dozen. Okay. But to date a dime, <laughs> you got to put in a lot of work and it's going to be a little bit of a pain. Okay? That's the price you pay for a good looking person. And so in life, I want you to remember that you're going to have many opportunities, okay, uh, to live in Wisconsin, many opportunities to live in Idaho. You're going to have many opportunities to date an ugly, lazy psychopath, but you're going to have few opportunities for a 10, a hardworking, successful, beautiful, elitist person. And that's Florida. You know, the price of paradise, uh, the price of being the best is you pay the biggest cost sometimes. And I can jazz it up. I can make a fancy speech, but that's the best parable, the best example I can give you. You remember that when you look at your spouse, who's probably below average. You remember that when you look at the place you live, it's probably below average. And you remember when you buy in Florida, buy below your means, buy just an RV lot, and when a hurricane comes, leave Florida and then come back a month later after all the craziness is gone. Why? Uh, because, I, you know, you may, even if you get a 10, I don't know, you know, how entangled you want to get, you know, uh, because everything in this life has a price to pay. But uh, I'm serious a little bit. I mean, that's just the truth, you know. Um, you know, you're going to have opportunities in life to go to another level in your career, to go to another level in your self-care. And even me, I'll be honest, there's times where I said, do I really want to go to that next level? Because it's going to be a pain. And, you know, and I'm not saying I'm the best, the best of everything. None of us are. I'm humble enough to know, you know, we all have our shortcomings. But I'm honest enough to know that paradise has a price. Uh, the, the best has requires your best effort and you remember that uh and remember to uh, stay below your means keep some flexibility in your life i had a great member pat go she's positive but she could be a little negative she likes rumble okay anyone who likes you know the social media rumble huh, they're gonna they're gonna rumble a little bit so she was telling me you know like she's waiting for the crash and look there, there's always going to be economic ups and downs but to spend your life waiting for the crash is a mindset of you're waiting for war. You're waiting for collapse. And, you know, look, if you're piling up cash, if you're working hard, if you're trying to maybe buy an asset at a certain price, that's fine. I get that. But what I found, because I've lived through crashes and booms, is people who wait for a crash, the price is never going to be low, low enough for them to buy. They're probably not working in times of boom. And... They're probably dating an ugly psychopath, you know, on Rumble. <laughs> Guys, that's, there's a price to pay, okay, to be successful in times of inflation. There's a bigger price to pay to be successful in times of recession. Because remember, a crash means more suffering, not more prosperity. I love everyone, guys. I don't care if you live in Florida or North Dakota. I really do, guys. I, you live however you want. You know, sometimes I get people bust my balls like, oh, I want to live in Hawaii. I want to go live with you. I don't want to live with you. I mean, for you're not even a 10. I mean, I don't want to forget about it. You ain't going to bust my balls in your ugly psychopath ass. All right, let's stay positive. So, <laughs> 
Yeah, this world's sick, man. I, I should go on Rumble, man. But see, I don't need more stress. I don't want to rumble with people. Someone asked me that the other day. They said, Sam, why don't you just stay and fight? I said, guys, I'm looking for peace, man. I'm not looking to fight, man. I mean, I'll fight if you have no choice or if there's a real injustice. But I don't, I, I don't Man, I, I'm getting tired, man. I mean, I don't know about y'all. Now, let's stay positive. I love you. I hope my videos help you in some way. If they do, click that thumbs up. Remember, if you're going to move to paradise, buy an RV lot or a small little shack. If it blows away, go back a couple months later when all the repairs are done or all the garbage is cleaned up and then just put a, R a new RV right there. Don't buy an RV, though, from a hurricane hit spot. Remember, uh, if you want to be a full-time nomad forever, fine. Probably not going to be married. Remember, if you get married, you have to ask yourself, is this person the best I can do? Okay, <laughs> oh my god, yeah, so it may be easy to date someone that you knew that, you know, they're easy to get along with, but I don't know, for me, I mean, some of this is just psychological, but if I ever did, I want a 10, but I'm probably never going to do it, so it doesn't matter, this is just entertainment, I'm just giving you something to do while you wait for the next uh, news update, I'm just giving you something to do until everyone wakes up at noon and argues on Rumble, all I am is entertainment. Some information, some motivation, but at the end of the day, I'm suffering just like you in a world, <laughs> in a world of hurricanes, rumble, uh, booms and busts. I mean, I'm just trying to be thankful for what I have. I have my health. I saw someone in a wheelchair yesterday and I was getting upset. I said, Sam, it could be worse. And I said, I, I get it. You know, but I said, Lord, why do you let people have suffering? But then I said, I can't, I'm not going to figure this out. I've been fighting the Lord too. You can't, you can't understand it. I just try to get through the day. <laughs> That's all I try to do. I, t I tell you right now, I just try to get through the day. <laughs> all right, I love you. Let's stay positive.